Yeah, I like more class. Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine, and today I have with me some of the ANF crew that is usually behind the scenes doing all of the production work for us. We have Lori with us, and my husband, whose name is also Kelly. And uh, we're bringing to you today a little bit of critique and review of some things that we got to play with at Industry Day at the Range here at SHOT Show, um, where invited media and guests uh, can come and just try out a lot of the new toys. So we picked out a few things that we thought would be interesting to you that people are talking about, and just going to dialogue a little bit about what we liked and didn't like about each of them. So we're going to first start with the H9. Um, my brother-in-law, who is a retired Navy SEAL, his brother um, sent us both an email and said, hey, get on out there to Hudson. I want you to see this. It looks really, really cool or some other kind of words. And so that was the first place that we went. And um, I think we all were a little bit disappointed. Well, I, I liked it. Um, I liked the gun for a lot of reasons. It was nice. It was a really nice gun to shoot. Um, it certainly had a whole 1911 feel to it. Mm -hmm. It's designed to be a, stri uh, a striker or a striker fired 1911. So it has some different designs to it, but it does resemble a 1911 in a lot of ways. But um, it's not ready. It's, it's not, not ready. It's and not in ready. fact, by their own admission, it's not ready. Right. They yeah. they said afterwards. I mean, everybody was having. Um, Lori, you, I had a malfunction. Yeah, well, I, you had a malfunction. I was trying to play with the reset, and I thought I'd limp wristed it or something, but then everyone was having trouble. And so. for God's sakes, you never limp wrist. <laughs> You're three gun expert, Lori. I know it failed to go into battery for you, and I th it had an ejection malfunction for me. So yeah, it actually, had when two I was, for you, didn't it? Yeah, I actually had two for me, like right away, and I thought, gosh, am I doing something right. wrong too? I'm, I'm right. looking stupid in front of these guys. And actually, the rep pulled me aside later and he said, yeah, and, and he's seeing it, and he said, we're only about 92% ready. So, I mean, but it was a good showing for them. It gave them some experience for a lot of people to, to and see. And it looks what like was it's there, going to be a good gun when it's ready. When it's, it's finally just, done. You know, right. it's sort of the T and E still. So yeah. All right. So my favorite, my absolute Here favorite. Here we go. I know they've been hearing about this all day. They're sick of it. The DVC yeah. by STI. And you know, I've been getting hit hard with um, emails from these guys all week long, and now I know why. Just amazing. I'm in love. I'm gonna sell off so many other guns just so I can afford to buy one of these. And my kidney. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Get to yeah. So it's a new 2011, mm -hmm. um, and they have the carry version, which actually I I put it on as if I were going to carry it, and I thought it concealed very well. The grips on it are fairly aggressive, but like squishy. You know, so they weren't real rough. Now the size of it is is perfect. Probably <laughs> three point nine inch barrel. It's probably smaller in profile than a than a Glock nineteen. Oh, without I mean, question, it, it, without question, um, yes. It's shorter. The grip's shorter. I think. Fabulous trigger and fifteen fifteen in the magazine. Like who doesn't want that in a carry pistol too? But retail's almost three grand. So <laughs> yeah, you can get them down to. Twenty nine ninety five. I don't know. I'm trying to get a part time job with him somehow, so I can at least get it across. I'm like, what can I do? It's going to be a it lot is. of trips to the blood bank. Um, yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that was clearly my green. my favorite of the the whole thing. So, if you have an opportunity to shoot that, you will not regret it. All right. So next are some revolvers. We're not all really big revolver people, but we have them. We shoot them. We we teach with them. Um, so Colt was the big one here. So our friend from rangehot.com would just sort of go crazy with Hunter that. Elliott did a video they on it and uh, and he really liked it. And I, I sent him a message and said I was going to check it out too. So um, mm -hmm. I really liked it too. Now you two I, didn't. I but. did not. No, actually, because Lori, we we both shot the Kimber revolver as well, and it was okay. Yeah, the Kimber I thought shined outshined it. Yeah, well, um, they had they had plus P. Right, we were shooting plus Colt. P out of the Cobra, the Colt Cobra, and it it stung my hand some, and I just didn't think it was as smooth. Now you did, but I thought the Kimber was a much smoother. But you weren't shooting plus P out of the Kimber That's either, true. and that That's makes true. a big, big difference. But I, I, what I liked about the Colt was it wasn't a heavy gun like the Rugers, for example, the Ruger revolvers, the GPs. Those they're very thick, hefty, um, 
steel they're, 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 good steel yeah. guns. I, I mean, they're really like nice. I love them. But like it too. that's what makes those pleasant to shoot is that they are so heavy and they can absorb the recoil. Right. This seemed to have that same ability to absorb the recoil really well for mm -hmm. something that was much lighter. I mean, it was a much lighter frame, but I, I thought the double action pull on it was yeah. terrific. So, Well, we'll agree to disagree on that one. I think the Kimber wins on that one for the revolver. So, But actually, nice, oh, seg in trouble now. nice segue into the Rugers. Um, we oh, did get go. to see, right, um, the new Mark IV, and we got to shoot it, and we actually got to meet the engineer who redesigned the Mark IV because everybody has always complained of what a pain it is to take apart and clean. I, and I have struggled. I have struggled. And I said, forget it. We're just going to spray it and <laughs> snake it, and it's going to be A little ballast stall, you're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> snake it and spray it and snake it, and we're done. And so he sh showed me, and literally in about less than four seconds, I was able to field strip that gun right there on the range today. I'm like, where have you been forever and a day? So, um, you know, we always like to train start our women off with 22s as a confidence booster and now it's really going to be even better when we we show them how to take them apart and i don't know i just enjoy shooting them they're just fun did you did you shoot that yeah. one at all yep and the taking apart was cool because it's like an upper and mm -hmm. a lower like an ar and you just yeah pull the pin and Bam. two yeah. pieces it was a great idea you're so. done you're cool. done good stuff all righty and so the last one that we're going to bring for you even though we have so much more that'll be forthcoming um shotguns so we mm. sort of ended up in shotguns and um with benelli so much fun we all got a nice little private lesson from um diana muller who is the um captain right captain of the benelli shooting team mm -hmm. she's friend of Lori's. Mm -hmm. first thing i said to diana is look you know i'm a i'm a five surgery shoulder right here i don't don't want to whip this apart and you know what it was kind it was really kind to my shoulder and i i just and i hit my clays first yeah, time more awesome. than somebody else i should say what their brand new didn't hit his yeah. clays i hit one out of three. <laughs> so they're brand new sick. benelli super black eagle 2 super black eagle today. 2 right and and I think this it's going to be something new. Now that I know that I'm not going to really rip apart, you know, my orthopedist's right. work here, I think I might it's start nice to enjoy gun. doing that. And you did, you know, with good technique, you know. Oh, she had some fabulous pointers. Like yeah. yeah. that quickly, we were able yeah. to all just it. hit the clays. Yeah. So those were a few of the favorites that we saw today. But we're going to be bringing you some more video after we get home and. The crew gets to put it all together for me here in production. That would be me. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we we had a long, exhausting day, but it was worth it. We saw a lot of great people and played with some wonderful toys. So I want to just tell you to keep watching. We're going to be bringing you some more full videos on a number of the products that we saw here. So um, if you'd like, just hit us a little comment down here in the box. Hit the subscribe button if you like, and remember. Wait. If you like our videos, you know what else you can do? You can click right here and you can click right here and then you know what yeah it's gonna work it's gonna work this time believe us. <laughs> <laughs> i'm kelly from armed and feminine just remember it's your life protected oops cut <laughs>